looking at both ends of the floor. Defense. Now Soto goes with that right hand. Scott who needed that. Just use his size. He feels as though both teams are just lifting their intensity here, Liam. I think Adelaide know how important this period is, and as we just heard Brad say, Sydney know they can just put them to the sword if they can get a few more buckets. Soto will get the foul. Well, DJ with authority over the outstretched hand of the yeah. shot blockers. Something very special. Now Soto shows his rate. And making it a lot tougher for the Adelaide 36 on the offensive end. And Soto again. Helping himself to nine points. Elevation. I'll give it back to Soto. I'll go to the free throw line. Got a special guest with her courtside. I certainly do. It's always good to see who comes out to the NBL on the weekends. I'm pleased to say I've got the host of Bachelor Australia, Osha Gunsberg, with me. Osha, you're here with the family. How are you enjoying the game and the atmosphere? So great. This is the earliest game of the season. Uh, Sydney Kings fans, I take it? Uh, I grew up in Brisbane, so I was Bullets for a long time, but Audrey's from Sydney, and to be a part of the Kings vibe is just fantastic. It's great to be here. Um, you've become very familiar with one of our own at the NBL, our very own Felix von Hoff, who's one of the three bachelors in the new series. What's filming been like? Because I imagine he's been as cheeky as always. Uh, he's an extraordinary human being and has some fantastic tales to tell about his college days, let me tell you. Uh... No, I agree with you. and. CJ agrees with you. He said that last night. I mentioned he said, you know, we're not close right now. But he also said, we're going to need a third import if we're going to contest for this championship. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's become blatantly obvious over the course of, of this weekend. You, you, you're right. And especially in this one. So just a, a slight reality check for the 36ers. You think they'd won three or four. There was a lot of talk about the momentum. So people thought they were going to get on a roll. Yeah. They are a bit, bit, a bit away from the top teams. That's right. And, and to Liam's defence, uh, it does hurt when you don't have a guy like Drimmick who would become a important part of it. The other uh, couple of weeks ago against Melbourne United when it got a little started, what did he play? 37, 38 minutes in that game. So he was an integral part of it for him. But having said that, they still split this weekend. It hasn't been a disaster for him.